This is Fountain Pendulum. And in this video, I have kind of a grand finale of all the Traveler's Notebooks. So this is the final comparison video where I'm going to show back to back, side by side, these six Traveler's Notebooks that I've been um, checking out and comparing. And a lot of research kind of went into what brands I should try and, uh, you know, what color I want to try. I have three with stitching, three without, and they're all leather with various qualities of leather. So we're going to go through all that and just the bills and the setup and all that. There's lots more information on the individual videos that I've done, as well as checking out their websites for more info. I'm going to be putting the measurements of all these in the description. So check that out as you'd like. And I'd just like to say also that this was a very enjoyable journey, but all of these traveler's notebooks are in passport size. All of them I've researched and selected on my own for my own interest were purchased with my own money. And none of these were sponsored or gifted or um, given for review, anything like that. I purchased them just as a regular customer. So you see the transparency of what it would be like as yourself, a regular customer, to go and buy one of their notebooks. So here we go. All right, first up, we have the original. Traveler's Notebook, which is the Midori Traveler's Company Notebook. And it comes in this cardboard um, box. And it comes with some elastic bands, which is very nice. And in this woven cotton sleeve, which is a nice touch. It's a pretty um, nice fit with one insert, but as this gets fuller and chunkier, you might have some difficulty fitting it back in there. So we'll just put that aside too. Now, um, this Traveler's Company notebook I have in Camel. This is the pap passport size. And the leather is very consistent in texture and color throughout. We have a corresponding colored elastic band and a metal clasp that attaches all the elastics as well as the bookmark. And singular bands along either side of the spine, and each side of the spine has a slit in it. We open this up. It comes with one insert, which we'll remove for the moment. And we have a fairly soft suede. And then the functional elastic and the spine elastic, just one set. And then we have a tied off loop here. There's space so you can adjust the tension. And I would recommend that based off um, how thick you have it. And then the bookmark, which is a lightly waxed thread. So it lays really nice and flat. The leather feels, honestly, this is the perfect medium of all the comparisons. It's not too sift, it's stiff, it's not too floppy, it's very nice. I really like it. And then the emboss on the back. Now, because this has one functional elastic, if you purpose to put more than one insert, you will need this set with the rubber bands. So let's go ahead and fill it up. So we can see how it handles having this many inserts. So we'll slide these elastics down. I don't particularly care for the elastics um, in that um, if you want them to work perfectly, you know, they need to be flat and sometimes they roll. Um, one little note on that. 
you could seek out getting some spare elastic and um, tie it off to the right length. And then instead of using an, uh, a rubber band elastic, you could try using these elastic cords and that could serve a similar purpose. I think they're a lot easier and more pleasant to use personally. Okay, so the method I like to use is we get these double sets, slip one through the other, and then it's going to be crisscrossed like that, and then we put that whole thing through the elastic on the cover. All right, so this is with four. And things are bunching up a bit, so I kind of have to push it in. And the challenge that I have with this in general is if you're using three or more inserts, um, this is the kind of behavior that you get. So you just kind of have to push things in and everything is exceeding by some the um, bounds of the cover. Okay, now I'm going to insert this as well. I'm going to put that around there, see how that fits. All right, that's this is what we got. And most people are totally fine with that. But my journey is to find a cover that fits three, four or more inserts in a little bit more of an ideal fashion than this. So that's the Traveler's Notebook. All right, next up is um, a brand I got off Amazon. This is September Leather. And it comes in this cardboard box as well, a kind of um, lightweight sleeve. And this is a very unique passport uh, notebook because it's leather and um, it actually has a spine. So the leather feels quite consistent in, it's a dark brown in color and in texture throughout. It's very smooth and it's quite thick also because it has um, a stitched in insert in there. So right here, two pockets and then the pockets there as well. But it does feel very soft, very smooth. It's not very flexible. Um, it is where it's single here, but um, it has a spine here and stitching throughout as well. So it feels very well made. Um, let's see how this one holds up with our inserts. So this has the four elastics already. All right, so you've got it filled. Now the nice thing is that since this has a spine, it keeps everything laying nice and flat. And this is the largest of the passports. And so you can see that there's a generous um, room on the perimeter here, all the way around so that the cover is completely covering all of your inserts. So I really like that. I'm gonna add this additionally, see how that fits in. Still, everything fits very nicely. All right. Then you'll see here there's the four cords and then two metal clasps that secure in the band. 
Moving on, we have another brand that I got off of Amazon, Rubrism, and this cardboard box slides out. And there's a cotton woven cloth sleeve inside. You can pull this out. And this again is a very smooth and consistent color and feel throughout for the leather. And this has a little, um, I guess, charm here where there's a will, there's a way. Also has a leather um, securing piece here. It has two beads on the spine elastics and then two beads on the insert elastics inside. So this came with all of these inserts already. And um, it came with a plastic, a cream, a craft and aligned. And I think we can slip this out so that we can try the same items. So let me take this apart. Okay, so what we basically have here is the leather cover has the brand on the back, um, very consistent on the inside. On the inside, instead of the natural suede, it feels like there's um, a lining or material. That's what it feels like anyway. So yeah, I think there's a fabric that must be glued on to the back of the leather. So I don't really know how thick this leather is. It makes me kind of suspicious. But at any rate, um, yeah, here's the elastic band, and then it comes with an elastic band to secure everything together further. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're still using this whole kind of piggyback um, method here. Okay, so here's with three. I guess you would have another, you would require another elastic to um, do four. So I'm just gonna insert this here just to get the idea. That's it for this one. All right, next we have Galen Leather. It comes in this beautiful cardboard box packaging. All right, so I got it in brown with the mustard elastic and with the perimeter stitching. I think the color is beautiful. This leather has quite a bit of character to it. It feels very smooth consistently. The color has some variation and some wear to it already. And um, there's the size of the stitching. Then on the inside, we have a reasonably soft suede and the elastic bands. The elastic bands have been trimmed and sealed and there's no extra material for um, adjusting the tension. You could go tighter, but you couldn't go looser. So let's go ahead and fill this and see how it does.
All right, we've got our four with its four elastics. And we're going to close it off. And everything fits very nicely. Nothing exceeds the bounds of the cover. So that's working really well for me. Now I'm going to slip this in as well. And the zipper exceeds maybe just a smidge, but everything is feeling really nice. So that's the Galen leather. I'm surprised it's not marked because I know a lot of their leather goods are. And this leather feels a little bit more firm and thicker as well. All right, next we have the Sojourner. It's very simply, simply packaged, very minimalistic. Be blessed and pass it on, says the washi tape sticker. Okay, and there's the beautiful Sojourner logo. The leather feels very flexible and supple. It's very, very smooth, and the leather color is consistent throughout. And this is the Carmel elastic band. It's default for um, this Dallas color that I've selected. The inside is suede and it feels very soft and it has four elastic bands. So let's go ahead and put in the inserts so we can see how the size of this cover is. The um, elastics are trimmed and sealed as well. All right, that's all four. Looks like everything is chest fitting, maybe a little bit of pushback. Yeah, it's just chest fitting. A little bit of a few things extending past the cover. I'm gonna add this insert in. And close it up. So now things are just slightly exceeding the cover. Um, the elastic feels a little bit loose, so I'll probably tighten that up. All right, and finally we have Chic Sparrow. So it came in this nice wrapping paper with the cotton very soft cotton sleeve. And this is the Cody leather. So the leather is very soft and supple and it feels quite flexible. If I open this up, the color has some variations through it and so does the leather. For instance, it's very smooth here and then quite a bit of marbling on the other side. Um, I opted to have the white elastic and then they defaulted to white stitching, but they also have stitching to match the leather, which I think I would have preferred. There's a little bit of buckling here on the leather. You can see it flares up a little bit and a little bit of inconsistency as far as um, the ledge isn't quite square. It's a little bit curved. Um, it's handmade, so that's, you know, it's not a big deal, but it's something to make note of. 
and it has four elastics on the inside. They have been trimmed and sealed. And then the stitching is very fine and nice all the way around. In the back it reads Shakespeare USA. And this leather feels, again, it's very soft and supple and quite, quite flexible, I would say. Let's see how the inserts fit. All right, that's with four inserts. And things are chest fitting. Um, the notebooks are protruding just a little bit from the bounds of the cover. So let's go ahead and put this insert in also. flatten it out a little bit and I'll put the elastic over so that's how everything's landing things are exceeding the bounds of the cover just a bit it feels a little bit more sturdy once you have the elastic over it to kind of hold everything in place All right, finally, here we have all the notebooks. So, um, of course, there's going to be color variation because they all come a different color. But I want to start comparing the, the leather feel, quality, thickness, all back to back. So I'm going to just start by saying that this one, um, I would say because of the lining especially has, uh, in my opinion, the lowest quality. It's also the lowest in price. What I would recommend this for is for, if you have no idea if you're gonna like a traveler's notebook and you wanna give it a shot, but you don't wanna make um, a big purchase, or if you'd like to give away a simple gift that's nice uh, and a good beginner for someone who's in passport and again, um, it's an economical choice. For the price, it's not bad at all. It feels like a very high-end item, but um, it, it just lacks the finesse. So I'll say that for this one. Um, I don't know. I think this is lined, but we'll take the measurement in anyway. 1.9. And I have the measurements for this in the notes. I'm gonna put the measurements for all of these in the notes, but I'm just gonna kind of put this one aside because it's not really in my high ranking um, as far as top choices goes. So we're gonna we're gonna let this one go. So um, we have these five left. These I would recommend, um, and I'm gonna show you the different sizes and what I like about each one and the characteristics. So this is the largest. Everything fits spaciously in here. The leather has some freckling to it. It's dark, it's consistent, it feels very soft. The only thing is the spine can be a good or a bad thing. That's just up to you as personal preference. It has these inserts already without having to add them on, which I think is a nice touch. So this one is 2.1 on the singular uh, side and then 3.9 on the insert side. So it's definitely thick, it's quite firm. Um, there's not much flexibility to it, but it feels very soft and supple. So that's for that one. Now the Midori is the smallest, and as far as leather feel, it's the happy medium. 
it has a smooth, soft feeling, consistent color and texture throughout. It is not firm and not flexible. It's just, again, a very happy medium. So I'm a little bit disappointed. 2.1, um, excuse me, I was saying I was not, I was a little disappointed that it couldn't be larger to more comfortably fit um, a larger volume in search, but this is all personal preference. So that's that one. Now the Gillen leather. This uh, is very soft, very consistent in texture throughout. The coloring has some variation. You can get it with or without stitching. I added that on. You get to pick the color of your elastic. So I think the customizations are phenomenal here. And this feels on the on the more sturdy side. There's some flexibility to it, but it's quite sturdy. It reminds me of a very nice new leather baseball glove. That there's that flexibility there, but it's it's thick in leather. Um, 3.3. I maybe I already did that, but so that's that one. And then we have the Chic Sparrow. And this one's soft also. It's quite supple and flexible. And there's a lot of character. And that depends on what uh, type of leather you select, right? So I got the Cody. So you can get something that doesn't have this much variation if that's what you choose. You can add on the stitching, which I did. And they have black, brown, or white. You would have to specify other ways they default the, to their selection. And this is 3.3. This one feels, um, it's the most flexible of all of them. And I would say that it feels kind of like a, a really nice boot leather, like a knee-high boot leather. It just... That's the vibe I get from it. And then finally, the Sojourner. And this one has a very unique feeling to it. It's very smooth and consistent in color throughout. I'd say more than any of the other ones. And this one is 2.2 millimeters. This one has the feel of a very high-end luxurious purse. That's what it reminds me of. So um, this has raw edges on it. It doesn't, it may have a sealant on it. I'm not sure, but I'm just saying it feels like it's raw. Um, Galen leather definitely has a sturdy sealed feel to it. Midori feels like it has a little bit of sealant on it. And Chic Sparrow feels quite raw. There might be some sealant, but not much. And this feels raw as well. This is the largest. Again, I'm gonna put the measurements in the description. I actually think this one is next. There we go. So let me line these up so you can see the margins that we're talking about here. Because the little bits make the difference. Okay. So they're all, I'd say, most similar in the height. But it's the length that makes the big difference. So here the Midori is, you know, significantly shorter than the longest one. Then next is the Sojourner. Well, if we're talking length, next would be the Sheik, Sp Sheik Sparrow. Then the Sojourner, then the Traveler's Notebook, and finally the um, September leather that I got off Amazon. Now for flexibility, 
or stiffness. I would say for the leather itself, the Galen leather feels the most sturdy or the most stiff. That's kind of the uh, leather baseball glove feel that I was describing. So it's a very sturdy feeling to it. Next for sturdiness would be this one. And I think a lot of that is owing to the fact that it has um, a double layer from the insert, but all the same, even considering the flexibility or the stiffness of the single bound, I would put this next. And next would be the Traveler's Company Midori. This one is what I described as a happy medium. And ironically, it falls right in the, mid in the middle. Um, next would be the Sojourner, as far as, you know, this one is fairly, fairly supple, but it, it still has a certain amount of sturdiness to it. And I would say the most soft, supple, flexible, floppy one in this case would be this particular Chic Sparrow. But again, it varies by leather. So keep that in mind also. Now, how about where they're made? Um, so let's start off in this order. And for this, I'll just bring this back for a moment. So the Traveler's Company Midori, this is a Japanese company, but the cover is made in Thailand. Then we have Galen Leather. And this is from Turkey. These two that are off, off um, Amazon are both made in China. And then we have the smaller companies. And these are both made in the US. So Sojourner and Chic Sparrow are both made and owned in the US. They're smaller companies. Um, Chic Sparrow, I get the feeling, is a larger company than the so Sojourner, and um, I think it's something to keep in mind when you're going to be buying um, a product. You know, you consider, do I want to support a local, a more local, smaller company? Uh, it's definitely something I consider, and the Sojourner, uh, I believe, is this, the smallest operation out of all of these. Um, but she's done a beautiful job. So there's things I like about all of these passports. And I hope that, that that came through in the video because there's wonderful qualities of all of them. But I have been on a journey to find and compare the traveler's notebooks, particularly in the passport size. But all this information is applicable for leather and different sizing and so on. But um, yeah, I, it was a lot of fun and so curious and so interesting. I hope that this is helpful for those of you who are curious, like myself, about the different leather qualities, the build, the sizes, what they feel like, because there is not really, you know, indication of that, especially through um, photos. So just being able to see me handle it um, hopefully gives some insight into um, what these will feel in your hand and how they compare and what would be the best fit for you. So thank you so much for watching this series. Um, share with me what your favorite is, uh, what characteristics you like about them, which ones you own, and put them in the comments below. Enjoy those traveler notebooks. I will see you on the next one.